Alrighty guys, how we doing? This is Hunter with Shackleford Heating and Cooling today. Uh, today I'm gonna be going over on our infinity control here, how we set up a schedule. So we've got our main menu here of our infinity control. We're gonna start by pressing this menu button, bottom right corner, and you'll see we've got comfort profiles and schedule. These tie in and are the same thing, but before we set our schedule, we're gonna wanna set our comfort profiles. So we click that, brings us to this screen. We've got temperature and fan, as well as humidity and fresh air profiles. We're not gonna be worrying about humidity and fresh air, we're just gonna be worrying about temperature and fans, so you're gonna to wanna to click that. Brings us to this screen with all these co for boxes. So, home, away, wake, and sleep. First, we're gonna click home. This is where you set your desired temperatures for heating when you're at home and cooling when you're at home. Uh, this is the at-home feature of your schedule. So you've got home, away, wake, and sleep. So we'll start, this is where you adjust your temperatures. So let's say like at 68, when you're at home heating in the winter time. Then we gotta flip over to cooling. So switch your mindset, we're thinking about summertime now. This is where you wanna think, what do you want that air conditioning at in the summertime? So let's say we'll just set it at 73. You can also adjust your fan speed. Uh, auto just means that the furnace will tell the fan to run when it needs it to run. We also have low, medium, and high. Uh, Totally adjustable, but we'll just leave that on auto for now. So now that we've got those set for our home profile, we'll save. And then we're just going to rinse and repeat and do the same thing with away, wake, and sleep. I'll go through that. We've got our away here. We'll leave our fan on auto. Then we'll click to our heat. We'll set that up 68. And we'll set this down, cooling to 73. I'm just going to go through and do the same temperatures for everyone. Waking up in the morning, set that to 68. 73, we're keeping our fan on auto. Like I said, this can be adjusted, but we'll keep that just on auto for you. And then our final one, sleep. Set that up to 68 and boom, 73 for you. These can all be adjusted. We can go back and change these in the future. It's not set in stone, so easy to change for you, but we'll click save now. So now that we've got all these temperatures set for our desired heat and cool, wintertime, summertime, we're gonna click done. And now it brings us back to our kind of main menu for the infinity control. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna to go to the menu, click our menu. So we talked about schedules and comfort profile. Since our comfort profiles are set and complete, we're gonna to go to our schedule here now, and we're gonna do a guided schedule. Uh, pretty easy step-by-step -step it shows you, but we're gonna walk you through here. And you'll see right below it says viewer edit. So once we set the schedule, like I said, not set in stone, we can come back, we can change this, it's all adjustable. So. We'll do guided schedule since it's the first time you'll be doing this. Uh, here we will modify your schedule of activities for the system to follow. Uh, so we'll click next. So here, select days which, the, which will have the same schedule. Some people work from home, so they have Monday through Sunday, all the same. Just depends on your work schedule and what you got going on. We'll set it for, we can just do all days working from home. So we'll set all days and then we click next. Now we're gonna be setting our wake up time. Everybody's wake up time is different. I'll just set, we'll set 545. Next. And then this is where we select if somebody's gonna be home all day. It differs, of course, like I said, every house is different. Uh, for this one, we'll just assume that working from home, we've got somebody at home. So we'll click yes. And then here we'll select whether you want a different comfort profile for when you sleep. Most people do, they want that temperature dropping down either in the winter time, they want that heat dropping down a little bit, or in the summertime, they want that cooling dropping down. So we'll click yes there. Now we're gonna be setting our sleep time. Like I said, it's always different for everybody. So we'll just set it at a nice even 10 p.m. right there. Click next. So then at the end of this, it's gonna show you kind of what you've got going on with your schedule. So all our days, Monday through Sunday are set. We click next. And now it's just gonna give you kind of a overview of what you set here. We got you waking up at 5.45. It's gonna go from two hours, your wake up temperature will last for two hours, and then it's gonna turn into your home temperature, which we have set for you. And then that home temperature will just be running all day. And then we've got you going to sleep at 10 p.m., which will then revert to those 10 p.m. or sleep temperatures that you set in your comfort profile. So now that we're done with that, we click save here. And then we can also select whether we want a different schedule for other days. Uh, we'll do yes, since we're going through it with you guys. So then we can click here and modify. So let's say you got some crazy going on, on on your Thursdays. We can click Thursday here, modify that day, and totally change it. We can set our awake time, our home time, and our sleep time for this specific day to change that. So let's say for Thursday, somebody's not going to be home. We'll click no for that one. And then here is where we set. 
let's say you're going to work on Thursday. That's your one day from, from home that you have to go into the office. So we'll set, you're leaving home at 7 a.m. We'll click next. Uh, let's say you're getting done 4 p.m., getting home from work at 4 p.m. We'll click next. And then also you probably are gonna want a different sleep schedule on that one. Work schedule might change a little bit. So we'll set that, let's say 10.45 going to sleep that night. And then we'll click next. And now all the other days are the same, but we specifically modified Thursday just to show you that you can modify separate days and change them if you would like to. So then we'll click next. It just kind of gives us a new overview of that schedule we set for our Thursday. So waking up 5.45, going to work at seven, getting home at four, and then we got you going to sleep a little bit later since you had work that day. So we'll save that and we'll click no here since we showed you that already. And so now here, it's just gonna give you a broad or overall look at your schedule you have set here. So we'll start, today is Monday, wake, home, sleep. Tuesday, same. Wednesday is gonna be the same. And then Thursday is gonna look a little bit different. That's the one we edited for you. And then we'll go back. Friday should be the same, Saturday and Sunday. So that is your basic schedule. Uh, keep in mind our wake up temperatures, whenever we set, uh, let's say a heating temperature in the winter time, you set it for 68, you want to, or let's say 70, you want to heat up a little bit in the morning for you when you're getting out of bed, they like it to be a little toasty. Uh, the furnace will actually kick on about an hour before your uh, set time that you have it on here. And so it'll be to that set temperature for you when you are getting out of bed. So pretty nice feature there, we'll save that. And that is your schedule. So. Here we can, like I said, view or edit the schedule. So in the future, if you ever need to change anything, it is adjustable. You just gotta click it and you can change it right from there. Save that and I'll show you how to get back to this menu real quick. So we've got our main infinity control screen, bottom right corner, menu, comfort profile and schedule. We already went over the comfort profiles, temperature and fan. We set all our desired temperatures for heat and cool. And then we went to our schedule and we did our guided schedule and walk through and set that up for you. There we go. <laughs>